Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about functionally complete set of connectives. In our previous classes, we clearly discussed about connectives. Please watch that classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So, take these connectives. We know different connectives. We know negation, conjunction, disjunction, implies, double implies. But this set of connectives, we call it as functionally complete. Negation, conjunction. This set of, we call it as functionally complete. And one more set is also there as functionally complete set of connectives. Negation and disjunction is also called as functionally complete set. What's the meaning of functionally complete set means? Means if you take any proposition, we can write that proposition using these two connectives. That is what meaning of functionally complete means. You take any proposition, you can write that proposition in the form of using these two connectives, negation and disjunction. Let's understand with example. If you take P disjunction Q, P disjunction Q can be written as negation of negation P conjunction negation Q. This is from De Morgan's law. Similarly, if you take P implies Q, P implies Q can be written as negation P con disjunction Q. So, you write it in the form of disjunction. If you write it in the form of disjunction, you can write it in the form of conjunction. Similarly, P double implies Q can be written as P implies Q conjunction Q implies P. Implies means you can write in disjunction. Disjunction means you can write it in conjunction. So, you take any proposition, we can write it in the form of negation and conjunction. Similarly, you can write it in the form of negation and disjunction also. Let's take, check the examples. P conjunction Q can be written as a negation of negation P disjunction negation Q. Similarly, P implies Q can be written as negation P disjunction Q. P double implies Q can be written as P implies Q conjunction Q implies P. Implies means we can write it using disjunction. Conjunction means we can write in the form of a disjunction. That's why we call these two sets as functionally complete set of connectives. So, you take any proposition, you take this proposition, we can write that in the form of a using the connectives negation and a conjunction or negation and a disjunction. So, we can write that is what the point you need to understand. We are going to do examples uh, on this type of examples in our coming classes. Hope you understand this functionally complete set means if you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.